Jesus explains the coronavirus. Your greatest protection is repentance and pleasing me. March 7, 2020 Words from Jesus and Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, May the Lord's peace be with you and guide you into all righteousness. May your hearts be tender and pliable in the Master's hands. Amen. Dear ones, Ezekiel had an extremely vivid and real dream which truly bore the signature of Holy Spirit. In this dream many saints came to visit him and afterwards Father God came. At the end of the visitation a set of scales was shown to him and he heard seven years. Our impression was that the tribulation was about to begin, but I'm seeking more wisdom from the Lord on that. As it is written in Revelation 6, 5 and 6, the third seal and when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. And I looked and saw a black horse, and he who sat on it, holding a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and do not harm the oil and the wine. Today Ezekiel was again in serious intercession when he saw many people dying from the coronavirus in China and all over the world as well as the United States. He was suffering some of their symptoms as we prayed. I've sought the Lord about putting food up for the community and was given a go-ahead. So we have prepared a small amount of food to last for a month for the community members. And we're also looking into having more food to share with others. Looking at this entire situation, it seems to me that it is wisdom to have food and water put aside if there is a lack in production here in this country. Also transportation, trucks may not always be delivering a full load to different stores. Also medicines, alcohol and skin sanitizers, masks, gasoline and oil, toilet paper and other household necessities. Carol told me that a friend had sent her a dream. I was in a supermarket when suddenly I knew in my spirit that a plant named chlorella, never heard of it before, was going to be the antidote to the coronavirus. So I stood in line to buy some, and they quickly ran out as others in the store were given the same knowledge. When I woke up, the make chlorella kept repeating in my head so as not to forget. When I looked it up on the internet to see if it was even a thing, to my amazement, here's what it said. Huge immune booster and lung supporter. Some chlorella contains iron, so it's not recommended for children, which is interesting because they don't seem to be affected. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you the heads up. If this dream was from the Lord, then he's trying to give us the help we need to stay healthy, so we can stay alive to do his work. Besides all of that, dear ones, the Lord is asking us to pray Psalm 91, and I highly suggest we each pray Psalm 51 first, in a very slow, heartfelt way. If the Lord reveals anything to you that is less than pleasing, please, please remove that from your life. Do not leave open doors. Forgive everyone who has ever hurt you, whether they apologized or not. Holding on to a bitter seed will surely infect you and leave open a door. 
How can God forgive us when we do not forgive others? Very simply, he cannot. And he promised, if you forgive others, I will forgive you. Do not leave this door open. Get plenty of rest and do not allow yourself to become compulsive. Dive into a huge project that exhausts you. That's surely a setup from the enemy to weaken your system. The very best protection, my dear ones, is to love your brother and sister as you love yourself and to walk humbly and see others as better. I promise you, if you look closely at others, you will see many virtues they have that you lack. So this should make it easier for you. This is a time to reform and clean up our act. The Lord is pressing against all of us to do away with cycles of sin we have allowed into our lives. If he has been touching your conscience about anything, please pay heed and stop doing that. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church, and there are many dying from this plague, crying out for others' conversion. God is allowing it to get you to be serious about him and stop compromising. And I share with you that he really is working with me to get rid of attitudes and desires. I've gotten lax in certain areas and my heart has troubled me for a while, but I've been lazy. Now he's giving me the grace and the mandate to clean it up. Lord, what do you have for us? Jesus began. Your instructions are wise and on target. Some will respond to the easy things like buying supplements. Others will take me very seriously and respond more to repentance. This is your protection, dear ones. Repentance and a heart that is serious about pleasing me will be a very strong protection against this virus. Unless I call upon you to stand in the gap for your unsaved family members. Also do not stop giving to the poor visiting the sick and those in prison. Charity is a fortress of safety. If you have the means to put aside food for others, this too is pleasing to me. And remember, if ever there should be a serious need, turn to me. I never stopped multiplying the bread, and I will never stop, not for the stingy self-serving souls, but for the souls who love their brothers as they love themselves. Not only that, but charity covers a multitude of sins. In heaven, you will see the power of this dynamic when you review the days of your lives. Do not panic. Do not provoke panic. Rather provoke prayer and tell my people that prayer is where the power lies. I can do so very much with prayer alone, from the sincere of heart, and holy of life. My people, if you are dealing with persistent sin and obstinate faults, continue to fight the good fight. Come to me and I will honor your prayers. Remember when I see true contrition and continuing effort to improve, I honor your prayers as if you had already attained holiness. I look at the heart, my precious ones. Keep it clean from judgment, pride, fornication and greed. Those who have been honest and strict with themselves will have nothing to fear in my presence. You will receive compassion and grace to help you continue to overcome. Know that there is not a minute when I am absent from you. I listen to the supplications of your heart, to your thoughts and lack of opinion and judgment, to your desire to love your brothers and sisters unconditionally. I am with you. Cleave to these virtues and I will keep you safe in the day of trouble.